Okay, I think it's the third today, or fourth. It's the uh, Saturday, October. So I set the uh, steam test up here. Water test. Just got a little bit of water going through, as you, as you can see. But I'm finding that uh, I'm getting too much cavitation inside the uh, 5 8 pipe. Uh, the pipe got so hot it just snapped straight up. It's all warped inside. So uh, the only solution here is either put a steel coil, coil inside the pipe or a coil on the outside of the pipe or uh, add another a pipe over top of this one. This is a two inch pipe. We actually need about a three inch pipe over top and uh, need to stretch out the water more. The uh, surface area is quite hot. You can hear the steel popping on the inside. But this here it's dirty warm. We're getting quite a bit of exhaust out there. We actually burnt the, the table with the exhaust. So uh, definitely could be more improvement here, but the, it does show potential for a hot water heater. And this will go together and make a, a bigger package. And uh, I think the, the best solution would be to weld a three inch pipe over top of this one so you have about a uh, three-eighths of a gap where the water uh, comes through but it'd be spread out a lot more. When you have just a small space like this, the fire spinning around here, it's you don't really have enough contact area uh, to transfer the heat to uh, through. So that's what I've learned today. So I would expect by putting a pipe over top of this one, you're going, you're going to uh, have a lot more contact. The water's going to have a lot more contact with the with the pipe right now. You only have half inch circumference compared to a two inch circumference, so you only got just a fraction of the contact and the surface of this pipe is a good five to six hundred degrees. So uh, I thought that this water would be come out and uh, come out steaming. It probably would if it was about a quarter inch. And everything just warps because of the intensity of the heat. I got everything turned right down low here. The pipe is two inch by thirty-six inch. Uh, stainless, I'll just take you over to here, or not stainless, just black pipe. So I got a valve there hooked to the water line with the copper going in. And I got a, some fire brick on the end just to shield the, uh, the valve connection. So once the, this is changed, Oh, excuse me, where you actually have another pipe, another pipe around this one with about a half inch of water going through, maybe around three eighths. Uh, that should be enough to get a, a full stream of of hot water out of the end there under under pressure. So right now the the heat's not getting to the water because of the minimal contact with the inside pipe. If the pipe, if there was a, like a 3 8 stainless steel pipe that was coiled on the inside, uh, it'd just be blowing out steam there big time. In a test done last uh, fall, I had a 3 8 copper pipe wrapped around, and by putting a tin foil around the, uh, uh, the, the copper line, it actually got so hot where it was actually transparent. You could see right through the copper. So we know 
that the system, that the Joe pipe system has the heat. It's just a matter of transferring the heat to the water. And so eventually, uh, there's going to be a water plenum around here. I was going to go to about a, like a two-inch jacket. But what I might do is increase the uh, pipe diameter to about two and a half and uh, make the plenum uh, to where you have about a half inch gap. I need to test that, so maybe you need to find a welder in town. But I really could help on the finances to, so I could do this, because I'm working on not even a shoestring here. So I'm believing the Lord for finances. I have made a new blog site today. It's uh, on the org uh, .org site. Uh, I'm gonna get it back. I'll get it, get it back to you when I upload this. It's on the uh, uh, remnant. I forget. Uh, I'll put her into the file here. Still need to do up the the, uh, the blog site. But there has been a little bit of success. Not as much as I figured. Turning down the tap just a bit. Six and a half minutes. So at least it's got a little bit of water flowing. But you can still hear, hear the pipe cracking in the back. So if I had a proper plenum on this, instead of going through the center to go around here, then you could have turned on the garden hose full and that water uh, be just pumping out of here, just, just hot, hot. So we crank it up just a bit. You can see the, the flame coming out of there. You know, once you had your water plant up and say, if you ported your flame, uh, your, your, your exhaust heat back over the plenum, make a, an exhaust plenum, the water would get seriously hot here. But I'm pleased with this little bit of work. You can hear the pipe crack in there, not enough water. Now it's pumping out the steam. Lots of potential here. Just need to tap it. Most of my heat is being wasted, so I'm probably not even using 10%. If I can get this up to about 90% efficiency, I'll be happy. secret is trying to stretch the water over as much surface contact as possible. And I think we're going to cut it here and make it back in part two.